Now the next concept which we will understand in proofing document is thesis is uses of thesis word count and translating the language. Over here if you will see like the word the listening I want to make it the uh, make it use like if I want to see that it's another meaning or another word what I can use uh, you can use the thesis over here you will get the various options for the word like attending heading eavesdropping snooping for the respective word means you'll get a synonym meaning for this particular word and you can change it accordingly now over here if there is a word enlightened you can select the word and also you can do there is another option you can click a, you can make a right click and you'll see a synonyms option you can select the synonyms option and you can see that there are various options you will get for this particular word like rational progressive free thinking open minded to tolerant so according to the to your text or according to the sentences you can select the word appropriately like i'll choose the rational word for my this particular sentences like concept of india it's uh, like is that in the modern india look at a rich heritage and rational society like for the particular uh, sentences you can select the word and you can uh, make the uses of synonyms respectively in the word document so this is the feature of thesis which you can see in the microsoft word now the next feature is of word count like if you'll click a word count your dialog box will open in front of you over here if you'll see that there are pages like how many pages in a document like if you have made a long report or a long project report you have made so you can see the pages like this particular document consists of 20 pages the words characteristics are uh, 6405 characters with no spaces characters with spaces and the paragraphs lines all this information you will get it by clicking on the word count the dialog box will show you all the information related to the document in case if you want to see only the word count you can also see over here down the line down to the taskbar of the word document you'll see that it have consists of 6405 words respectively in this particular page or in a document so if in case you want to check that how many words you have covered in case there is any report writing where you need to cover only a that much sort of word like 300 400 words so you can see over here the word counts in a word document which will show you that how many words has been covered in this particular page or a document now in this particular document we will understand like how to use the translator the language translator over here in this particular page you will see that this particular text is in a French language now if the person cannot understand the language he can use the translator in Microsoft Word and make the uses of translator in order to understand what this particular text has been written of so you can use the translator over here just select the translate the selected text over here you can translate the selected text to like as it is in a French language from you can select to the English United States and over here you can see the translator has translated it in an English language itself and you can understand like what it has been written in this particular paragraph in case like if you want to select any other language so you can select the other language itself but only the languages which Microsoft Word has taken into account if in case you select the another language even one more thing the Microsoft Word will take only those languages which it has in its system if you will insert any other languages for so for that you need to insert the language option in the Microsoft Word and then only you can make the uses or you can make the changes accordingly for the translation if you want to uh, make translation in other languages which Microsoft Word doesn't have so you cannot make it so for that you need to have the translator in this particular document